Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now I am working on this. I am using this Women's Institute yarn. The thing about this is it's pretty for blankets, for scarves, hats, gloves, anything that you want to try and make. This is a really pretty compacted stitch for it. Now I am using quite a large hook. This is a 6mm hook. I don't know what the equivalent is in the USA. And this is the stitch. That's that side. And this is this side. So it's really reversible. And it's really pretty and it's really quick. So I'm going to show you how to do this stitch. I'm going to pop that aside. and I'm going to... So the stitch count for this pattern is four. So I'm going to start with a slip knot and I'm going to do my chain and sets of four stitches. One, two, three and four. One, two, three and four. I'm just going to do a sample. So I've got my little chain to do a sample with. So what we're going to start with is we're going to go into the sixth stitch. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We're going to do a treble crochet and go into that sixth stitch. Now all those ones that we skipped becomes your treble crochet and your little chain of three. So into this same stitch, I'm going to put two more treble crochets. So yarn over and go into the same stitch and do two more treble crochets. If you're in the USA, this is a double crochet. So I've got three into the same stitch. Skip three stitches, one, two, and three, into the fourth stitch. Put three treble crochets. We're doing a cluster of three. One, two, and three. Skip three. One, two, three, and put three treble crochets in. You're going to do that all the way to the end. So this is what you get. Skip three, one, two, three, and put a fan in. Three treble crochets. One, two, and three. So you should have four left. One, two, three, and four. Into the fourth one, you're going to put your... You're only going to put two treble crochets into that last stitch. Now your last stitch will always just be two treble crochets into that last stitch. You're going to chain three, one, two, three and turn. Now we're going to start the pattern. Into the space, skip those two trebles. Into the space, you're going to put one treble crochet. Now down here in the chain where we're done, we skipped the three stitches, you're going to put a treble crochet into the middle stitch. Make sure you get right in to that middle stitch. It might be a little bit fiddly. Pull your yarn right through. Pull that stitch up to the same height as those ones and finish your treble crochet. So you've got one in the space, one in the middle stitch. Now into the space again, that's the same space, put another treble crochet. Skip that fan. You're going to put a treble crochet into the space, one into that middle stitch, 
and one into the space again. So one treble crochet into the space. You've got your three skip stitches here and you're going in to that middle stitch of those skip ones. Pull your yarn through and pull up so it gets to the same height as these stitches. Pull through and then into the same space. Make sure you don't go into the chain. Make sure you don't go into that fan. And make sure it's that same space you're going into for your treble crochet. So we're not going into the fans. We're using this space and that chain. So your first one into the space. Your next treble crochet goes into the middle of those three stitches. Into that stitch, it will get easier once we've got up a bit. Pull that stitch up to the same height as these ones and do your treble now into the space, not into anywhere in the fan, into that same space and do a treble crochet. Skip that fan, treble crochet into the space. Treble crochet into the stitch below, into that middle stitch in that chain. Pull your stitch up. You've got to pull it up. And then another treble crochet into that same space. Now, when you get to the end, in the space, you're going to put two treble crochets. You'll always just put two treble crochets in at the end. Chain three, one, two, three. Now it becomes a little easier. We're just going to keep repeating that same row. There's your space. And this time you're going into the top of that middle stitch in your fan in the row below so one into the space a treble crochet into the space skip those two stitches one in there now you're going in through this stitch so yarn over you're going right through though and pull your yarn through and pull it up and then do another one into the same space. So you're at one side of it, then into the treble crochet, then into the next side. So you're going to skip that fan and go into the space and do a treble crochet. You're going into that stitch, the fan, Yarn over, right through, pull your yarn through and pull it up. And then go into the space. Make sure you're not going into that little fan there. Yarn over and into there. Skip that fan and go into the next space. There's your three stitches of your fan, one, two, and three. You're going into that one. So yarn over and go right through, pull up, and finish your treble crochet. So that treble crochet is in the top of that fan. And then go back into the space. Make sure you're not going into any of the stitches in this fan. Now we're at the last space on the end two treble crochets right into the space one and two and that's what your pattern is going to look like on both sides it gives you this little drop down stitch and it hooks up inside that fan so chain three one two three and it is a one row repeat so again into the space with a treble crochet 
If you're in the USA, this is a double crochet. Yarn over and you're going into the top of your middle stitch. Into that stitch. Go right through and pull your yarn up. Make sure you pull it up and make that stitch the same size as these ones. Then into the space again. So we're mostly using the space. Into that space. So we'll skip that fan and we're going into the middle stitch in this fan. Now that stitch kind of gets hidden in there and that's your middle stitch. So yarn over and go straight through. Go right through like that. Pull your yarn through but remember and pull it up. Go to elongate that stitch and then go back in to that space. So to finish it is just cut the yarn, pull your stitch through and that's it finished. It's really pretty in that. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Just click on that subscribe button. I don't get paid for subscribers. It's moral support. The more subscribers you have, the more often your channel gets showed up by Google. So no matter where you are in the world, if you can subscribe, it is free, then please subscribe to the channel. And if you click on that bell icon, then YouTube will alert you when I put up another tutorial.